Welcome back to Work of Excellence TV. If you're new, join the family, subscribe. It's free. It costs you nothing, but it's a lot of work for me. So I would appreciate you subscribing. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you. You know, I just came in because, you know, I'm driving what I call... I've been wanting to do this car tour and I just kept going back and forth with it. Should I do a car tour or should I not do a car tour? I don't know if I should just wait until I pull over because I think the camera might fall. But I've been up and down about doing this car tour. You know, I just feel like sometimes when you're in a happy place, you're not, not everybody's happy for you, you know. And doing my channel is what I like to do, what I do. And um, I just always hate to have to make some kind of disclaimer about what I show what I get, what I buy, and what I buy, I buy because I like it, you know. I have came from a place where I struggle. I know what it is to struggle. You know, I have four children, you know, and the, and the struggle was real for me, you know. I've been in bad marriage, you know, pretty much raised my children on my own. I'm in a good place now in my life. I'm making so many better decisions about my life. You know, um, finally in a marriage that I can pretty much say I'm happy, you know. And I just feel like I thought people would be happy for you and with you. But that's not the case. It's not the case. It seems like the better I do in life, the more friendships go away. And it was this quote that I saw that came up and I was like, wow, <laughs> that's my life, you know? I'm going to put the quote up. And hold on before you not the case at all then here comes the pandemic you know you're going through a world changing event here losing family members um, not being able to visit close people that's in the hospital or sick and just trying to learn a new way of life. You know, when I bought this car, and that's one of, another reason why I did not do the car tour at the time, is because when I bought this car, I was not in a good place. I wasn't happy. I I just wasn't happy and I thought if I bought this car it would make me happy oh I'm finally getting the car of my dreams I always wanted me a Range Rover and I just kept seeing this car kept seeing this car and I was like that's what I want and you know in my life this was the first time I ever bought a car over the phone I bought the car over the phone. I had no problems getting the car. I got A1 credit, you know. So I had no problems getting the car. And this is not like, I remember when I bought my first car. I was in the car dealership all freaking day. And then I bought my car. And then after I bought the car, the man called me two days later. And he said, can I bring the car back? 
And I was like, no, you better find somebody to finance me. I'm not bringing the car back. You know, I can't give it back if I say I don't want the car. So find somebody to finance me. And I remember that's how my life was, you know, when I went to buy the car. And not, that wasn't even my first car. My first car, I saved $2,500. And I went and I bought a car. And they gave me a used car. And the man said, let me tell you what you're going to do. Because you don't have any credit. You're going to uh, you buy the car. And then, because I only had $2,500 that I saved. He said, um, okay, if you put $2,000 down on this car, then you have the rest for your insurance and tax and everything. And then you finance the other thousand because it was like a three thousand dollar car and you finance the other thousand. That's going to help your credit. So that's what I did. Lo and behold, I screwed my credit up. Okay, I have fought long and hard to get my credit to where it is to today. You know, I can buy a car over the phone. They delivered the car to me and everything. I looked at the car online and everything. They went through each and everything. And plus, when they delivered the car to me, I had a certain amount of days, two weeks or so, to decide whether I want to keep the car or I don't want to keep the car, you know? So it was just so easy for me that... That's how I bought this car, you know? So things has changed. I, I have grown in my life, you know? I have learned, and that's why I say I'm a woman of a certain age, and I done been through some things. My children are grown, so why should I have to make um, disclaimers about anything that I buy or anything that I want for myself? I shouldn't have to make a disclaimer. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't do a car tour. Because I just was like, you know, I don't understand why I have problems. It, people see my videos and stuff that I have problems with people. And I mean, these are people that you think are close to you that have this hidden jealousy or don't want the best for you or anything like that I work hard every day and that's why today I am doing my car tour you will be seeing the outside of the car and everything and I'm going to show you my joy my joy because I thought I bought the car because I was so unhappy I was just going through some kind of like emotion my my anxieties and I didn't know what was going on with me you know I thought one time I had COVID I, I just was not happy and this is the best time of my life and I just could not embrace and be happy today is a good day you know that cloud may come back tomorrow but today is a good day and I'm going to celebrate today. And I just can't understand that. <laughs> I went through all of these years raising my kids, doing what I have to do. And I never knew anything about anxiety or just depression. And it's like, where did this stuff come from? I have fought the good fight to get where I am today. So why is something trying to hold me back, hold me down? from being happy. Satan is a liar. You're not going to have me. You're not going to have me because I fought to get where I am and I should be happy today. I should be able to enjoy and celebrate the things that I have. Nobody gave them to me. Nobody gave them to me. I work for everything that I have. You know, I'm so blessed today to be happily married. The type of marriage that I wanted. So, don't dare try to get me, Satan. 
don't. And I just want to share my joy. This is my car. You know, when I bought my Lexus, you know, I was so happy then. And the hate comes. Anytime you be happy, you buy a, a pocketbook for your birthday. The hate comes. You know? They want to try to find out things about you. Or what you doing. What you doing. What I do, you could do. What I have, you can have. I just want us all to try to be happy for each other. It's rough out here. It's tough out here. I am not Beyonce and Jay-Z. I have to watch my money. I have to watch my money. I'm going to put another quote up here for you guys to see what I'm talking about too. cut off a lot of people I have to cut off people because me and my husband is trying to retire don't think because you see things that I have everything I got arthritis in my knees you know I got a sciatic nerve in my back but every day I'm still working because we have a plan before we retire. We have a plan. So we have to stick to the plan. Everybody can make a plan. And work hard. Because I came from a little or nothing. Nothing. I came to a point where. I had to move into a one bedroom. And I got the bottom floor. Because I had four kids. And I didn't want them running on top of anybody's head. But I didn't want to go to a bad neighborhood. So. I got sorry my battery had died but I was saying that um, I moved into a one bedroom on the bottom floor because that's all I could afford and I didn't want to go in a bad neighborhood and I didn't want to take my kids out of the school district that they were in you know so I did what I had to do and we made it a home you know but that's what I had to do because I couldn't afford to get a three bedroom. I couldn't even afford a two bedroom. And this was a very small one bedroom, but we made it work. And it was, I was able to save and pull myself out, you know? So I've been places where I walked out of my marriage for whatever the reason was. And I had to stay on people's couches with my children and then I've learned that people don't want to house you and your four kids for more than a week you know so I go back to this bad relationship and I save and I plan and I plan to get away for a year and I did it I did it so I know you could do whatever you set your mind to even when my children tell me oh I'm this and oh no y'all don't have children only one have children but my youngest ones they are out on their own they're paying their own bills and stuff like that pay your rent because I'm not going to pay your rent and mine so I'll feed you but always pay your rent because I try to teach them to be self-sufficient you know, because nobody out here going to want to uh, take care of you. Nobody else really wants you to live with them. They doing bad themselves. So why they want you to bring them down, you know? So it's just so many reasons why sometimes I shut down. And let me tell you, when you're feeling that stress or you feeling anxiety, or you feel depression because I'm learning about anxiety and depression and I could tell you I've been through hell and back so 
I know I don't have depression. I know I'm not, I, I don't have anxiety. Oh yeah, you do, you do. I don't know why it waited to me for me to come on later on in life, but I feel like more money, more problems. That's what it is. That's what it is. And I don't have a lot of money, people. I take care of what I have and I work for what I have. And so can you. Always be happy for other people. Be more of a giver than a taker. And you will be so blessed. So I just wanted to say this is my car. Like six, six months, seven months later, this is my car. I am happy about it. You know, even though I bought it because I was depressed and I thought it was going to help my depression and it didn't, I'm still happy that I have it and I feel good today. So I'm going to rejoice today and that's why I said, let me do this video of my car because you never know tomorrow I might be sad no I am not putting that on me at all I am happy and I am blessed I am highly favored and I just thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel I'm just trying to do the best I can. I'm just trying to be happy and I'm just trying to live my life. They're all grown now and me and my husband just trying to live our life and travel and do the things that we love to do. And we hope to take you guys on some of these journeys with us. So tune in and don't forget to like the video, subscribe because mental health is no joke. You can be go lucky today and then something just hit you and you don't even know what it is. It's nothing to play with. Love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon.
all your damaged goods, damaged should have never been Thought you were bulletproof, look at you, what happened? Did she hurt you?